we've already told you all about Kate Middleton's fashion brands, as well as Meghan Markle's go-to shops, so we thought it was about time we compiled a guide to Princess Diana's favorite designers and high street stores too. After all, Princess Diana's iconic style inspired future royals in more ways than one, like the time the Duchess of Cambridge's maternity dress was an odd to the late princess, or when Meghan Markle wore her blue ring on her wedding day. Diana's style varied over the years, from her Sloan Ranger blazer and jeans combo to her sleeker 90s dresses, but there were a few brands she always went back to. You can shop them below. Princess Diana wearing Catherine Walker Whether it's a power suit or an evening gown, Catherine Walker was Diana's go-to designer no matter the occasion. Founded in 1977 by Cyrus and his wife Catherine Walker, it became famous in the 80s and 90s thanks to the royal. Some of her most famous outfits include, but are not limited to, a powder pink ball gown, like the one Meghan Markle wore at Trooping the Color, a Dynasty S green sequin dress and that pearl gown that was fondly nicknamed, the Elvis dress. Princess Diana wearing Catherine Walker in 1989 in Hong Kong. Picture, Rex she famously wrote to the designer after wearing a white lace dress after her separation from Prince William, telling her, I was so proud and felt very confident to stride out there and deliver my first speech since the divorce, you can buy Catherine Walker designs in store. Princess Diana wearing Christina Stamboli and you'll no doubt have heard of the revenge dress, which Diana wore for her first appearance since Prince Charles admitted to having an affair with Camilla. She wore the black design to the Serpentine Gallery, paired with her famous sapphire choker, here's what happened to it and the rest of her jewelry after she died. What you might not know is that she was meant to wear Valentino that evening, but the brand released a statement earlier that day about it, which put her off. Rex, shutter shock so she went with the Greek fashion designer instead, and it all blew up from there. Other fun fact, she had actually been sent this dress three years previously but was at the time worried it was too revealing. You can buy her designs on eBay. Princess Diana wearing Versace Princess Diana was very good friends with Johnny Versace, I am devastated by the loss of a great and talented man, she said when she found out about his death and wore his designs a lot in the 90s. She famously posed on the cover of Harper's Bazaar wearing an embellished blue dress, and wore a gorgeous one-shoulder silk gown to a charity ball in Sydney in 1996. Photo, Rex Shop Now, Versace Contrast Trim Crepe Dress for £1,141 from MatchesFashion.com Princess Diana wearing Bruce Oldfield Princess Diana met Oldfield through her work at Barnados and wore his couture dresses from the mid-80s to mid-90s, when her style changed, at which point she stopped wearing his designs. Some of his dresses include an off-the-shoulder navy dress which she wore at a dinner in 1987 and a gala in 1988, and was later auctioned off for £45,000 at Christie's. Princess Diana wearing Dior There's a reason Dior has a bag named after Diana, the Lady Dior FYI, she was one of their most loyal customers. The bag, which had another name at the time, was given to Diana by the French First Lady, Bernadette Chirac. She loved it so much that she ordered it in every version, which prompted Dior to name it after her. Photo, Rex Shop Now, Mini Lady Dior Bag in Black Patent Calfskin for £2,350 from Dior Princess Diana wearing Belleville Sassoon You might not have heard of David Sassoon, but he created over 70 gowns for Princess Diana over the course of two decades, and is credited for taking her from Sloan Ranger to fashion icon status. She famously wore a bright floral patterned dress to visit children in hospital, and a pink floral dress for Prince William's christening in 1982. Photo, Rex Princess Diana wearing a manual Diana's fairy tale showstopper from her 1981 royal wedding was created by Welsh designer duo David and Elizabeth Emmanuel. The dress was made of ivory silk, pure taffeta and antique lace, with 10,000 pearls in sequins, and had a 25-feet train credit. Rex Princess Diana wearing Ferragamo Everyone talks about the Lady Dior bag, but did you know Ferragamo also named the bag after Diana? The late princess owned over 20 variations of the chain strap bag, which was named the Lady D after her death. 
Photo, Rex Shop Now, Salvatore Ferragamo Ginny Medium Leather Shoulder Bag for £915 from MattressFashion.com Princess Diana Wearing Chanel Princess Diana was a big Chanel fan, and was especially fond of the bags and shoes, though she sadly didn't wear the brand after her divorce. The reason she couldn't wear Chanel anymore was because the interlocked seas reminded her of Charles and Camilla. Photo, Rex Shop Now, Chanel Flap Bag for £4,220 from Chanel There's no denying Princess Diana was very loyal to the designers she loved, which included lots of British up-and-coming names, who she supported even after her divorce, which was a turning point in her style. You could even say she paved the way for Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle.